If you've ever struggled with Blender's default texture painting tools feeling a bit flat, there is something you might want to check out. It is called Yuku Paint, which is a free Blender add-on that basically gives Blender a proper layer-based painting workflow for things like roughness, metallic, normals, all of it. Pretty much what people wish Blender shipped with by default. Compared to something such as Substance Painter, Yuku Paint is a lighter, Blender-integrated option. You don't get smart materials or real-time PBR previews like Substance, but if you prefer staying inside Blender without bouncing between apps, I think this is gonna be interesting for you. The first thing that Yuku Paint fixes is Blender's lack of a real layer system. Normally, you have to juggle a bunch of different images just to get basic painting done, one for color, one for roughness, another for metallic, and so on. But with Yuku Paint, you can get real Photoshop style layers. You can stack them, mask them, blend them, and control each channel separately without having to jump through a million hoops. But it is not just the color. You can stack procedural textures, vertex attributes, generate textures, solid fills, image maps, or whatever you need. Want to throw a brick texture over your base material? You can do that just by tweaking it a little bit and done. And if you need a solid color on top, no problem. Also, if you need to keep your strokes limited to only one part of the model, you can just hook it up to vertex groups and you're done. Masks behave exactly how you would expect. Black hides and white reveals. And every layer can have its own. Plus, you will get all the usual blend modes like overlay, multiple, and add. So building complex surfaces feels natural. And if you want to tweak a layer without repainting everything, you can just toss in quick modifiers, like color ramps or math operations, right into the layers. Material channels are flexible too, because you're not stuck with whatever setup it gives you. You can add or remove channels based on what you actually need. And you can paint color, roughness, metallic, normals, real-time displacement, and even vector displacement, if you're feeling fancy. And if you're working with normal maps and want cleaner details, you can switch layers to 32-bit float, which helps a lot. And if you're doing grunge or surface wear, you can pull in texture masks from something like Krita or Photoshop and anchor them straight onto your 3D model. The add-on also detects UV islands automatically, and if you're using UDIMs, it will pick that up too. No special setup needed. Saving work is handled neatly too. Yuku Paint tracks and saved images clearly with a simple asterisk, and once you save, it packs them cleanly into your blend file, so there is no need to manually chase every texture. Performance-wise, Yuku Paint holds up well, even when stacking multiple layers across different material channels. It doesn't bog Blender down easily, making it useful for quick props as well as more detailed assets, and multiple objects sharing the same material are handled efficiently too, so you don't get extra slowdown if you are painting across a scene. And once you're happy with your paint job, you can bake everything, color, roughness, metallic, and normals, and you can put them into a single texture map, which can be ready for Unreal, Unity, or whatever you are taking them. And the add-on handles common baking tasks too, like ambient occlusion, multi-res baking, or even baking normals from other objects. And if you want transparency, it is literally just enabling the alpha channel with one click. There is also a custom bake target system, which lets you pack multiple maps into one like baking occlusion, roughness, and metallic into a single ORM texture for games, or setting up DirectX style normals if you need them. When it is time to export, baked models can be saved out as GLTF with all materials set up, so you're not stuck rebuilding everything manually in another program. Of course, the animal still sits on top of Blender, so if your UVs are messy or if you stack too many huge high-res layers, you will eventually hit Blender's painting limits. It definitely helps a lot, but it is not a full replacement for something like Substance Painter if you're building extra complex materials. When it comes to adapting to different workflows, Yuku Paint doesn't lock you into any single method. You can stick with manual hand painting, or go heavy on procedural textures, or maybe mix in photo references depending on what fits the project. It stays flexible without getting in the way. And if you are the kind of person who likes digging under the hood, like I mentioned earlier, it is free, open source, and released under the GPL license. Development is actually active, and the documentation covers the basics, if you ever feel like tweaking it or expanding it for your own pipeline. In that case, you can totally do that. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. 
So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.